Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I'm with my buddy Guy King, the king of the blues, uh, in from Chicago. He's playing in L.A., and you were playing at the Copper Still Grill on Saturday, this coming December Saturday. 7th, and then Sunday at Mulaney's Grill. I don't know where all this grill stuff is, you know, but I guess the grill's <laughs> not the blues. Eat. People have to eat, you know. And then the Maui Sugar Mill. Yes. That's a mill, not a grill. There you go. That's like our local blues club over here. And, uh, you know, so it's kind of like the L.A. blues circuit. And so he's doing three back-to-back -back dates. And uh, so what's happened with you back in Chicago and all that? Everything is great. Family is doing great. Uh, I've been playing a lot. The band is doing great. I've been traveling, playing overseas. Some just got back from Brazil. Brazil, huh? Yeah, and did a tour in Europe and heading back to Europe this January. Cool. And... Uh, Soon uh, we'll be announcing, uh, recording a new album. Still uh, finalizing this, so soon we'll have some. Cool. Some how was how was Brazil? I know there's we get a lot of great guitar players that come in here from Brazil. Yes. Uh, I have a friend of mine named Andre Chris Andre Cristóvão, who's like one of my closest buddies for many many years. He now lives in uh, Scotland, I believe, uh, but he was from Brazil. So we Paul. connected. He reached out and we connected thanks great. to you. So. He's, uh, he's a buddy and he's a great player. He used to go to uh, GIT, which I think is now the Music Institute in Hollywood, and uh, whenever he wasn't in school he was loitering at Norm's Rare Guitars, you know, so. But a great player and every time if B.B. King or somebody was going to Brazil to play, they would always call him to put a, oh, a band yeah. together for him to back him up and all That's that. Great. So, and you have Arturo Menezes. Arturo Menezes is yeah. really great. There's, we get a lot of them. Arturo so can, is crazy. Yeah, he's a great player. We, we actually, we were both were hanging out last night watching Joe. Joe Bonamassa. Joe Bonamassa is playing with the Rock Candy potato. Funk Party yeah. at the Baked Potato. <laughs> that was great. That and was really that's, great. it's a whole different thing for Joe. But, you know, Joe, anything Joe does, he does it so well. And, I mean, you know, he's really great. kind of in a class really by himself. And, uh, you know, but he loves guys playing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and uh, so, uh, and Arturo is uh, yeah, something great. Would, yeah. And your buddies with uh, Josh Smith and Kirk yes, Fletcher. Yes, I'm all hoping the, to see Josh today. Guys, and you know, yeah. Kirk and I connected in Chicago a little bit ago. A month ago he was in town playing, so. Cool. So this guitar that you're playing, this is a very unusual guitar. This is a 65 ES335. But what's kind of really unusual about it, this is right at the transition. It still has a wide nut, and it has all nickel parts. And this is a, it has a trapeze. So this was right at the transition when they went from the stop tail piece to the trapeze. Then they went to the chrome parts with a narrower nut. So this guitar they probably only did for maybe a month or two or something. There's just, I never see this. And I've had this kind of in my stash, has uh, hang tags with it and everything. Just a really clean, beautiful guitar. But it's every bit a stop tail, like an Eric Clapton guitar, but this is the first of the trapeze tailpiece ones. So, and the guy makes it sound really good. So, Todd, what are you gonna play for us? I'm gonna play a tune I recorded. I think it's a, uh, it was originally cut, I think something by the Dizzy Gillespie Orchestra, then made famous by Ray Charles. And I recorded it on the, on the Truth album that you like. Okay. Uh, maybe Hey Now, I'm gonna play a little bit and then <laughs> sing a little bit of Hey Now. Hey Now.
cry down and die. Hey, the great Woo! Guy King right here at Norm's Record Drive. I'll tell you, the thing that I really dig about Guy is you were playing blues, but you're playing like the sophisticated jazz blues, you know, with voicings and all kinds of stuff. Ray was like a master at orchestration and all that. And, yeah, uh, well, you know, I kind of, you know. I taught myself by ear and I listened a lot to piano players. Uh, Errol Garner and Nat King Cole, uh, Oscar Peterson. That was Peterson. unbelievable, Oscar was great. And Ray Charles, so they played these chords and I, I, I you know, I came up listening to to a lot to rhythm and blues too and, and rock and, and soul people don't realize it but I heard the blues and kind of was moved by it and all those piano players and some of the old school guitar players were playing chords that you know I knew to play this and what you call the regular chords but right. then I hear him play something a little bit different the extended voicings and it, was, and and it was still bluesy and it just had a little more I don't know a little more soul a little more a little more thought to that the, kind to of complimented the voice sometimes. Well, so. there's all kinds of great blues from you know the country blues where the guys are you know yes. a little rough, but it's about the feel and the soulfulness of it. Definitely. And then there's the you know the straight ahead blues, and then there's this, which is like the sophisticated, more advanced. Um, another guy that I used to love was Little Milton Campbell. Yes. Who was another one. He was a Chicago guy, and he was one of my favorites as Little well. Little Milton was know. great, and there's a way of kind of. Uh, Combining it, you know, playing blues by playing the the gut, you know, the So in case these guys you're blending these things, you know. In case these guys are wondering what kind of pick you use. I no use pick. My, I yeah. use my my thumb for the most part. We're selling them exclusively at Norm's Rare Guitars. Your own fingers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, again, you know, picks are great and a lot of players play them that I love to see yeah. them play. But for me, all of a sudden, it, uh, I used to play with the pick and then it... Uh, you can hear the wisp of my own... It's warmth when bit. you hear the flesh yeah. hit the strings. So. And then you can also dig in, you know. And you can play... there you know what you're gonna get to see guy king if you get a chance you really should go check him out december 7th again at the copper still grill and that's in monrovia and then Mulaney's grill in long beach that's yes. on the 9th and then on the 10th that's on the, no on the on the 8th is Mulaney's. oh that, that's right saturday uh, this uh, sorry i fucked up again <laughs> I, Norm, uh it's at the copper still grill on the 7th that's friday <laughs> on the 8th at Mulaney's. Uh, grill and Long Beach and then our own Maui Sugar Mill which Monday. is just a few blocks from the store here you want to hear some great blues this is the guy right here the guy and he is the guy everybody guy king thank you thanks Norman. brother <laughs>